Okay, the task at hand. The Glock 34 Gen 4 that you see before you with the granulate talon grip. This grip has been on this pistol quite a while. Actually, I think this is my second talon grip on this pistol. I'm getting ready to replace it again because Talon has just come out with their next generation of grip for the Glock pistol. Let's get this old grip tape off. We'll put on the new grip tape. And we'll take a look at what's different. I have removed the previous Talon grip and I've left a little bit of residue behind so I'm going to clean that off. Step number two after we have removed the slide is to use the al alcohol wipe that Talon provides and we want to clean our frame the entire area where the grip is going to be applied. Alright, so we'll peel away some backing. I try to touch as little of this as possible. You have several index points. You have more index points now than you used to with Glock. With the, the new Talon design for Glock, gives you additional indexes for lining this up. You used to just pretty much have the front edge of your grip, and that was about all in the bottom of the pistol, but now You've got the Glock logo window, and you have the cutout around your magazine release, which you didn't have before. You used to ha I used to have to cut that out after the fact, and we have our little relief cut for this depressed area. So, with all of those things lined up and looking good, I do an initial press down. Peel away more backing here. And I'm just going to fold it for the moment. I still have something to hold on to. Not necessarily looking for total perfection because that'll just drive us insane, but what I am looking for is to keep everything symmetrical. Okay, now, I'm going to bring this guy down here, where he needs to go. And if you start to get a little off track, this tape is very easy to peel up, put back down. And you don't want to do that any more than you have to, just because you can start to lose adhesion. And, and you also risk touching it a lot, but... Okay, that looks good. Now I'm gonna... peel this back a little bit on the front, because we need to tuck our finger tabs underneath. Tuck those finger tabs underneath. And then we lay this back down. And it is now time to hit it with some heat. Putting heat to it is a very important step. Okay, so you want to heat it two or three times, and then each time while it's good and warm, you want to smush that tape down into the frame. All right, let's put the slide on, make this thing look like a pistol. All right, what do you think? Put a mag in it. 
There it is. Finished job. Glock 34 Gen 4 with the Gen 2 Talon. I'm sorry, I keep calling it that. I have no idea. So, now you can't remember. You say, hey, what's different? So why do I care about the next generation Talon grip? Well, it just so happens, boys and girls, that I have a Glock 35, which is the identical pistol, just chambered in 40 caliber, and it still has the previous generation Talon grip on it. So, we have two identical pistol frames here. Old Talon, new Talon. Let's look at the differences. So, side by side, you can see the biggest difference. I mean, the first thing you notice probably is the cutout for the Glock logo. The little window there. But then, the next thing you should notice is the coverage height comes way up here. Right? So all this that's just exposed polymer previously is now covered. Then, this is one of the first things I noticed before I did the install. On the back strap, we have a really nice change. Huge addition in the amount of coverage on the back strap. Look at that. So before, we just had this sort of obelisk that went up in there and it left all this. Now, you've got just about full coverage on the back strap. So the web of your hand is really going to get a bite now in that. And then coming around, we see that same increase in height that we have on the other side. So those are our main differences. The finger tabs really haven't changed. So what has changed is the height of the panels has significantly changed, you know, 10 or 20 percent. And then, and I, I have a funny feeling when I get out and shoot this, what I'm going to notice more is going to be this increased coverage on the back strap. But just holding this pistol, I will tell you right now that holding this with the new Gen 2 Talon right here under my thumb, I can, f I can really feel the difference where that, where that tape is. So when I take my, when I take my shooting grip, I've got more coverage right, right here right under here as the as the thumb starts you know leaves the web of your hand right there I've got I can really feel that and I think I think that that's going to be helpful I think that's going to be noticeable when I shoot and then I, I really do feel the difference here I can feel better coverage in the web of my hand the notch going around the uh, mag release button is nice because when I would put this on the old version it would come there was just this one little corner because this was kind of a one size fits all it, you know it was made to fit every generation of Glock and there was a one little corner where it overlapped and you had to trim that but now you do not have to do that however you do have to specify when you order whether you have a Glock Gen 4 or Glock previous generation, anything prior to Gen 4, because it will be a different pattern. So that's going to be important. So when you order it, you got to know. And I believe you also need to specify if you have changed the back strap. So if you have added on one of the Gen 4 additional back straps or palm swells, you need to specify which size you have because as you can see there was no trimming this is a this is f made to fit 
In this case, I do not have any of the uh, optional back straps added on, but if I did, I would have to specify that when I ordered it. So it becomes the good news, bad news is the good news is it's much more custom fit to your pistol. The bad news is it's much more custom fit to your pistol. It means you've got to pay more attention when you order it. So putting a new towel and grip on your pistol and admiring it at the workbench is all well and good, but if you really want to see the difference, you got to get it out to the range and shoot it. So this is the Glock 34 with the brand new next gen Talon grip. And I'm gonna I'm gonna put some rounds through this gun with this new next gen Talon grip on it. See if I can really tell any difference. Next generation Talon grip for Glock. A lot more additional coverage up high on the thumb rest and considerable more coverage on the back strap up in the web of your hand. And both of those I'm really noticing while shooting this gun. This is the Glock 34. Excellent grip. I mean, this gun just feels like it can't move when it's in your hand with this Talon grip. And that's been true of Talon grips for years, but this additional coverage now, I can really feel it up under my thumb on my strong hand, holding my, my thumb in place, and I really feel it, probably more than anything, high up in the web of my hand. So between my thumb and forefinger, right up here under the grip tang, I'm really feeling the grip, just holding holding my, my grip right in place. I really like that. So the new grip from Talon is not just all about looks. It definitely adds function. <laughs>